Hello all and welcome dear valued participants. In this video, we will look at AutoZar and how it can be used for holistic cybersecurity of vehicles. Let us see what you are going to learn in this video. After watching it, you will be able to summarize what AutoZar actually is and what basic idea led to its development. You will also be able to explain the difference between classic and adaptive autos are. Finally, you will be able to describe how autos are can be used to create a secure electrical and electronic architecture and how its security modules help improve vehicle cybersecurity. You might ask yourself, why is this video important to me? First of all, AutoZar provides a standardized tool chain that guides and assists the development of secure vehicles through the complete process. As such, it helps managing the growing complexity of automotive software. Most importantly, it is an ideal technological answer to the UN regulations on automotive cybersecurity and software updates. Let's start with a short walk down the alleys of AutoZar's history. Around the 1980s, the first electronic control unit found its way into a car. It was used to control engine-related functions such as the air-fuel ratio. Now, more than 40 years later, we are getting closer and closer to fully autonomous driving. To make this possible, various driver assistance systems have been added, leading to an ever-increasing complexity of EE architectures and vehicle software. In response to this daunting trend and to enable the integration of many components from different manufacturers without compatibility issues, the automotive industry introduced AutoZar in 2002. AutoZar stands for Automotive Open System Architecture. According to its official mission statement, AutoZar is a global partnership of leading companies in the automotive and software industry to develop and establish the standardized software framework and open electrical and electronic system architecture for intelligent mobility. Nine companies, including GM, Bosch, Continental, VW, PSA Group, Daimler, BMW, Ford, and Toyota, founded the AutoZar partnership and are the core partners for the consolidation of expertise in the automotive industry. To now more than 300 AutoZar partners include premium partners such as Siemens, development partners such as Keysight Technologies, associated partners such as Samsung, and participants such as the Munich University of Applied Sciences. The key principle of the AutoZar software framework is to promote reuse and exchangeability of software modules. In proprietary solutions, the application software is developed according to the hardware it will be programmed on. AutoZar reduces this constraint by implementing a standardized interface between application software and its hardware to allow for hardware independent component software. This enables decouplable development through abstraction across horizontal layers, reducing development time and cost. AutoZar standardized middleware approach enables improved quality and efficiency through software reuse. AutoZar comes with two major software platforms or architectural formats, 
classic and adaptive autos are. Let's take a quick look at the major differences between these two platforms. Classic Autos R was developed for the implementation of ECUs with static functional scope and still meets the common requirements as standard middleware for most vehicle platforms. However, due to the continuous change in the automotive software ecosystem, and the growing need for frequent updates, an adaptive platform has been developed that paves the way for more flexible and extensible ECU software, an important step towards fully automated and connected driving. While the communication in classic autos are is signal-based and takes place via the internal bus network, such as CAN, Adaptive Autos R is service-based and uses Ethernet and some IP as a physical medium. The CP has hard real-time processing requirements in microseconds, while the real-time requirements for the AP are in the range of milliseconds. Both platforms can offer safety solutions that comply with at least Automotive Safety Integrity Level B of the Functional Safety Standard ISO 26262. Applications that correspond to Classic Autos R are written in the C programming language, while the C++ language is prescribed for an adaptive Autos R architecture. With the CP, Software updates are not possible at vehicle runtime because communication between the software components is hardwired. However, the runtime environment of the AP is independent of the applications and therefore over-the-air updates are possible. While Classic Autos R provides highly secure applications deeply embedded in the ECU for tasks that require hard real-time, such as braking systems, Adaptive Autos R will support dynamic communication for OTA upgrades. Let's sum this comparison up. The CP offers four key pillars that form the standard solution for today's automobiles. First, it enables the implementation of scalable mature safety features. It supports a wide range of microcontrollers and the combination of Autozar stacks from different vendors to increase efficiency. The CP provides a high level of maturity and quality due to many years of use and widespread implementation in the automotive industry. It enables high-performance applications through hard real-time capabilities and event-driven features. The AP offers three key pillars for advanced autonomous driving. It strives for safe and secure applications by protecting external and in-vehicle communications. It facilitates vehicle connectivity and dynamic application updates. In the future, Adaptive Autos R will not replace its classic counterpart. Rather, they will coexist in a vehicle network and complement each other as both platforms offer solutions for different issues of modern vehicles. Increasing connectivity and advanced automated driving functions call for more flexible software architectures and a high level of cybersecurity. Autozar can meet these requirements. It already contains various cybersecurity modules and applications, for example, to protect confidential data or to secure in-vehicle communication. Let's have a look at seven key security modules that Autozar offers. Many cybersecurity use cases rely 
on cryptographic primitives. For this purpose, AutoZar has a crypto stack that specifies cryptographic procedures and provides key material to the various applications via uniform interfaces. To secure in-vehicle communication, AutoZar supports the use of various protocols that ensure authenticity, confidentiality, or freshness of network messages. The access rights of vehicle applications can be managed and configured with the Identity and Access Management module of AutoZar. In addition, AutoZar supports the logging of cybersecurity relevant events in secure memories and monitors authorized access to this data. As detecting attacks on the vehicle and reporting them to a back end is an important component of effective cybersecurity management, an intrusion detection manager has been integrated into AutoZar. The secure update function helps to address identified vulnerabilities by receiving and processing updates for applications or the entire vehicle platform. And last but not least, AutoZar's trusted platform function can be used to ensure that only trusted software is executed in the vehicle. As shown in this table, classic and adaptive AutoZar currently offer partly identical and partly different cybersecurity modules. This is primarily due to their different architectures and intended use cases. Adaptive AutoZar, for example, focuses on updatable applications and therefore, unlike its classic counterpart, offers a security module for secure updates. Regardless of which of the two variants is chosen for a project, there are two decisive factors for a successful application of AutoZar cybersecurity. First, the security modules must be applied and second, they must be adapted according to the cybersecurity requirements of the vehicle platform. This essentially requires the integration of AutoZar into the entire cybersecurity engineering process. Starting with a risk analysis that identifies the assets to be protected by AutoZar security modules through the configuration of security modules according to security requirements to through testing before release for production. Finally, to illustrate the importance of AutoZar, let's look at what could happen if we don't use AutoZar and its security modules at all. First of all, we would have to find other ways to deal with the growing complexity of software architectures for vehicles. As there is no abstraction of hardware from software, development would also be less flexible. No AutoZar means there are no standardized interfaces or exchange formats between vehicle components. Software-based cybersecurity functions would also often need to be rewritten from scratch when the hardware or processor type is changed. All in all, this could lead to more time and costs in research and development and, in some cases, to additional cybersecurity risks due to fewer resources available to secure the vehicle. So let's sum up what you have learned today. First, AutoZar supports the standardization of ECU architectures across the automotive industry. Second, Classic and adaptive AutoZar complement each other and can coexist in a vehicle. And third, AutoZar is an important part of vehicle cybersecurity as it paves the way for innovative electronic systems 
with improved performance, safety, and security. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.